like nobody had took an evangelistical spirit there to witness to them. So, and so what God want to know is when, when you want to go to your nephew, when you want to preach and teach and tell the people, because at that place, he called him from something. He said, arise. So he called him to get up. And so just like myself, when God called me, many of you, he, you may not know what he's calling you to until you get connected to the place. Amen. But what you have to understand is that when he called you, he called you to something. Yeah. Everybody is not called to the pulpit, but you called to ministry. Yeah. So there's somebody that needs to know and they need to hear you. There's something that they need to do in you. God want to do something in you. Yeah. So it might be on your job. You might be at that place where you light up the place. But God can use you as well because we all are called to be ministers. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody is not called to the pulpit, yeah. but we all are called to minister the gospel. Amen. Be an example. Amen. Be a leader yeah. for the gospel. Wow. Partnership with God. Be committed. Be connected. Because what happens is, in Jonah's disobedience, uh, something happens. So when you read from chapter 1 all the way to chapter 3, because I don't, don't have a whole lot of time to give it all to you, but I'm going to give you what God downloaded in my spirit. What do you do when God creates the storm? Wow. Wow. Please give me a minute, because I'm not going to take right off like the jet today, because my father had allowed me to occupy his cockpit today in that 747 that he flies in, so I got to walk you through this, because what do you do when God creates the storm because of your disobedience, because you did not yield to the voice of God, you heard him call you, you heard him say arise, you heard him say go, you act like you didn't hear him, but the problem with that when we get connected to ministry, when we act like we didn't hear God, we begin to run. That's what happened to me. I started running from ministry when I heard God. What happened then was God created a storm. And so when the storm came, I started smoking more crack. I started drinking more beer. I started doing things that was not actually of God. But people who don't know spiritually or not in tune with God would not understand why would God create a storm such like that? Now you have to remember, we do more damage to people that love us than we do to ourselves. Because people are expecting us to do the things in the will of God. But we don't want to deal and submit to that word that we heard and walk upright before God. And so what happened is we run like Jonah ran. Jonah had ran because by the time he get to this place in Joppa, he got to this ship. There were all kinds of people on this ship. And they had all different kinds of gods. So why did Jonah flee and run back to that which he was used to? The norm. Because he couldn't see what God really wanted to take him. He feared that first. So that's why he didn't yield or submit. Because when we can't see the end, when God calls to something, we don't know how we're going to go through it. We don't know how we're going to get out of it or how we're going to make it. We run. We do the norm what we used to. So we run from the word of God. We run from the will of God. So we're not committed. So Jonah did not want to commit himself. He did not want to partner with God. But when he got on the ship, there were things going on. There were women on the ship. There were drugs on the ship. There were people on the ship partying because they had all these other gods. But they didn't have the God that Jonah knew, the God that the Hebrew Jonah knew, the God that he would serve and pray to. They didn't know that God because the Bible says that as the storm, a great tempest aroused. And when that tempest aroused, God began to stir up and break up the ship. But isn't it amazing that sometimes when you run back around the people that know you, that watch you walk and pray with God, soon as something happens, they can identify right away, it's coming you. Wow. Soon as 
little Johnny get busted in the head, they want to call on Jesus. Uh, soon, so what happened on this ship, these men began to call on Jesus. They began after a while to look at Jonah and say, this is because of you. Jonah, the Bible said that he went down into the deep and he went to sleep. And it was because he was exhausted and that he was tired. And so what was he exhausted from? Could it have been that he was on the ship partying for a little while before he decided to really get his mind together because he heard God? He was being dealt with by God in this situation. And sometimes, like you and I, we'll be getting dealt with by God in a situation. And if you're not spiritually in tune, you're not going to know that. Ask me how I know. I know. Because God's still a God of a second chance. Yeah. Even though Jonah was disobedient and the people on the ship began to look around and try to discover why this was happening, Jonah knew and he said to the men on the ship, 